Hey guys, Guy Eastman here. Today we're going to talk about the new AccuFit stock from Savage. Down to just about freezing. Basically what Savage has addressed here is the fact that not any one gun fits everybody. The gun that fits me is not going to fit my wife. There's length of pull and comb height that are the main adjustments that you need to make on a rifle stock. The AccuFit system basically allows you to take these components, almost like building Legos here, and adjust not only the trigger pull, but the comb height of your gun so it fits you perfectly. Uh, included with the package on the 110, they have five comb adjustments and four length of pull adjustments. The way this works is we'll just take the uh, screws out of the back. Of course, on the recoil pad, there's two holes here. We just put our screwdriver in there and we're just going to take these screws out and take this apart and change out both the comb height and the length of pull. Length of pull on the gun is basically how far your trigger is from the butt of the stock. And you can see my grandfather was a gunsmith and he would always tell me the best way to check that is to put the gun into the crook of your arm right here and put your finger up to the trigger. Now when you do this, the trigger should be right here on the tip of your finger at that first joint. This is way too short, which most guns are because I have arms like a gorilla, I guess, really long. We're about an inch off, so we see the trigger's hitting here. It needs to be hitting up here, so I'm going to add probably this longest component. And now as far as the comb height, we want that comb height to be perfect. So when we put our face down or our cheek down to the gun, we're perfectly looking in the scope because most scopes don't adjust up and down, they're on a set plane, we need to adjust this. So actually, the comb height on this gun is perfect for me. But we do need to significantly adjust the length of pull. So I'm gonna take this apart, and these components nest together. So you can just keep building them like Legos and build them on out. You can see I only need about an inch, but all these combined would be about, about a three, three and a half inch difference. So I'm only gonna need probably two. Uh, they also include different size screws and a little key here to tell you which screws. So I'm gonna obviously need these two inch screws, the longest screws. Take this apart and rebuild this real quick. So the comb piece just slides back and then pops up. You can see there's five comb heights from low to high. And most women and children need to be a little higher. And most guys, especially if you have a big melon head like me, you need to be lower. Of course, I need to be the lowest. So this goes right here, push it down. These uh, cleats just fit into the slots. So you push it down and push it forward. So it goes down and then forward locks in and then the uh, recoil pad piece goes right in behind it and locks the whole thing into place. So we'll just uh, go ahead and screw this, this recoil pad in place and that will lock both the recoil pull length and the comb into place. Less than 10 minutes, make full adjustments to this rifle and we're off to the rifle range. So there you have it, the Savage 110, very universal, great new product. Head on over to the Savage website and check out all the available calibers in this gun. Shoots nice. And for more great tips and tactics and gear reviews, head on over to the Eastman's YouTube channel and make sure you subscribe while you're there.